Hi everyone, um, in this video I am going to replace uh, this particular circuit breaker here. This is an Eaton AFCI GFCI combo uh, circuit breaker um, and uh, it has gone bad. Um, one of the way that I tested why it's bad is that uh, I switched over um, another circuit breaker and so the one that was uh, that was tripping all the time was here, and then I switch it to here. Uh, so it's not the circuit, but it's the circuit breaker. Now this one is the is the one that is tripping all the time. So that's the uh, um, basic common sense troubleshooting that I did. Um, another thing that I want to give a tip on that. Uh, some of you may not know is that e Eaton, uh, this this brand, I guess is, is pronounced Eaton. Eaton actually provides lifetime warranty uh, on their circuit breaker. So uh, because of that, um, you can just simply call, give them a description of what the problem that you're having. They send me this particular uh, circuit breaker for free. It does take about a week and a half for for them to process and get this to you, but it is free and um, so we're gonna do a replacement this one versus this one I know the size is different but all the spec is actually the same so I think they just upgraded um, their breaker to this new kind or new type so we're gonna do a replacement between this model this older model to this one and I'm um, gonna go through all the step um, one step at a time before I go on, I'm going to have a disclaimer that um, I am somewhat very familiar with electricity or electrical um, components. And if you are not, do not attempt this work yourself. If you're not comfortable, hire an electrician. Um, I, I'm not going to be responsible for anybody hurting themselves or damaging some equipment or causing a fire or um, God forbid, even death, etc. So if you're not comfortable or do not know what you're doing with electricity, stop watching this video, hire an electrician uh, to replace your circuit breaker yourself. All right, so let's get started by uh, first, I am going to be, I'm letting you know that I'm going to be doing this live, uh, meaning I'm not going to shut off my main breaker. I'm going to leave it live. And the reason for that is, again, um, being very careful. What you can do is just remove the circuit breaker first out of its socket. And you can do this by just pressing on uh, this side right here, the right side. And... There is a hook here at the bottom right. Well, first of all, wear a glove, okay? So you need to wear a glove because um, even though we have just removed this from the bus, there is still remnant electricity that comes through some of these um, neutral and ground wire, etc. Well, not ground wire. There's, there's basically a neutral cable that still carries some voltage. That's why I'm wearing gloves. Um, I don't plan to touch any of the, uh, of the wire directly. Uh, I'm going to be switching one wire at a time in a very careful manner. And I'm not going to be touching uh, any bare wire with my hand or the, the tools. Um, well, actually with the tools, but all my tools are all electrical professional Klein tools. I think these are my, either Greenlee or Klein. You see all of them are insulated all the way to the tip uh, so that uh, you're not going to be touching anything. Um, like short circuiting when you're working sideways or whatever. And all my other tools are also the same. These are all my special tools for electrical work. They're all insulated at the grip, etc. All right, so I just wanna let you know uh, what kind of tools that uh, that I have to deal with here. All right, so first I am going to be removing and attaching the um, Let me see here I'm going to be removing and attaching the um, Let me see which one will be best first All right, so the black cable 
on this new circuit breaker is going to go to load load power okay that black one is going to go to load power and then the uh, this cream color off-white color cable is going to go to load neutral okay and then we have to connect this common cable or neutral cable back to this bus bar right here we're going to have to disconnect this one and connect this one connect this one there So we're going to carefully loosen this one, okay, and then we're going to catch the cable and slowly attach it to load power. Okay, next we are going to detach the load neutral, this off-white cable. So we're just going to loosen it and do the same thing. We're going to catch the cable. That's not loose enough. Let's loosen it some more. See if we can pull it out now. Yes, we can. All right, you're just going to let that dangle right there. And we are going to attach that to this side. To the load neutral side. And we're going to screw that in. Don't do this with power uh, power drills or anything like that. You just gotta have to feel it tight with your hand. All right. Now that we got those two on, we're gonna try to figure out if we can trace this cable back. Okay, while tracing this cable back, you have to keep in mind that the neutral is not completely without power. So sometimes there's electrical surges from, I guess, devices and things like that that comes back to neutral. I have gotten electrocuted before from basically just touching neutral cables. So especially if it's, uh, I think, what they call common bonded, I think it's definitely possible so still be very careful when you're tracing this do not touch any cable and uh, make sure that you're wearing gloves
All right, I was able to find where this cable goes to um, at the uh, bus bar, but I can disconnect it, but it's so crowded there, I doubt if I can reconnect it uh, with a new one, with uh, this particular one right here. And because of that, I decided that uh, I'm just gonna cut it right here, and I'm gonna do a terminal connection, uh, a good connection here, and uh, that's just gonna be just as good as connecting to the uh, bus bar. Um, it is really tight, and uh, it's just gonna be terribly difficult for me to do that and, and I may even touch other things and, and cause some other issues so I'm not going to do that. This is just as good so we're just going to cut it carefully and uh, co combine it together uh, using a terminal. I'm going to be using this orange cap uh, to bond it together and um, let's let's do that. Uh, just make sure um, I'm, I'm trying I'm going to try to avoid uh, touching the cable directly at all. Okay, so I'm going to cut, splice, and make the connection without touching the actual copper. Okay, sorry, that was uh, a defective cap. It did not have any of the uh, screw-in um, metal inside of it. So as I was screwing in, I felt like there's nothing catching or nothing is happening. And when I look in, sure enough, there is absolutely no metal inside the plastic cap. All right, so this one feels correct. Screwing and it feels tight still tightening it a little bit and there we're good all right so all right we got the uh, common wire and we can just kind of tuck this in later uh, over there and now we're ready to go ahead and pop this back to the main bus Okay, so you want to hook the inside first. Right now it's already hooking. And then the, all you have to do is now is just press it down here. Make sure that your breaker is off be, uh, before you make this final push. Whoops, I accidentally turned off that one. All right, so now that it's all seated, make sure you check the connection. They're still there and they're still tight. This is good, this is good. And uh, let's go ahead and tuck this back in. All right, and uh, I think we're ready to flip the switch. Let's tuck this in and see if it works. 
All right. So I think that went well. It's doing testing. It's, it's blinking. Let's see if it's, uh, it'll pop. Still blinking. Okay, so I just tested the device. It works, uh, but I just don't know why this, this test thing is still blinking. So I'm gonna press it. Well, it trips. So let's turn it back on. And it's not blinking anymore. All right, so I guess it's an LED to tell you to test, is my guess. Yeah, it must be, because now it's not blinking anymore. So you have to test once in a while, at least for the first time probably, to make sure that this is working. All right. Well, I think it's, uh, it's all working fine. Uh, I just tested the uh, device that we plugged into the circuit. It's an air fryer. It takes tons of juice and it's working just fine. Um, so everything is uh, in order. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you find this useful. Uh, this is just to switch out an Eaton uh, dual bridge, dual purpose combination AFGI GFCI circuit breaker from a defective one to a new one. And here's the defective one. And um, all went well. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, DIY projects and um, to do's or tasks, uh, that I do all around my house, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.